This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the president and CEO of Chacana Copper, Mr. David Kelly. Dave, how are you today? Gerardo, I'm doing great. How are you doing? I am doing well. You had some news today. You provided results from 14 resource definition holes. Um, let me read the headline. Pretty spectacular numbers. The headline reads, Chicana reports 268 meters of 1.17 grams per ton gold, 0.55% copper, and 19.2 grams per ton silver, or 1.48% copper equivalent in Breccia Pipe 5 from surface at the Soledad project in Peru. Congratulations. The number looks phenomenal, the headline number. But if you dig down and you actually get into the bulk of the results, a lot of really, really good results you have to be excited about. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that that headliner is a really impressive uh, intercept. You know, it's, it's the great thickness of that 268 meters starting at surface. You know, it demonstrates the, the the potential that these breccia pipes have. So that's a really exciting number. The other important thing, like you mentioned, all 14 drill holes had significant intercepts, important intercepts, mm -hmm. and the grade on those deeper intercepts is 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 higher than the shallower grades. So you know, that's even more exciting when you start thinking, okay, the pipe's still open at depth. We're going deeper. It's getting higher grade. You know, that's a great attribute to have in, in, in these breccia pipes uh, from a mining perspective. So that's really exciting. We also had another news release out earlier uh, this week, too, on some of the exploration results. So we've been really busy and, uh, you know, we're cranking out these results. And I, I like to think of it that with each one of these news releases that we put out, we're de-risking this project. You know, we're taking the technical risk away and we're advancing it towards that initial resource. And it's a really exciting time for us. Let's talk about the release from a couple of days ago. That headline number was 220 meters of 0.62 grams per ton gold, 79 grams per ton silver, higher silver grade, I should note, um, and 0.20% yep. copper or 1.96 grams per ton gold equivalent. Also, again, from surface, this time at Brutcha Pipe 7. And so you mentioned the resource update you re recently had a site visit how did that go for you uh the site visit went really well you know that's been my second trip to peru since uh since covid i went out in august and i you know i went back for the for the qp visit and it went really well you know we covered everything we started with a really thorough geologic overview of the project at our core core facility we have a new core facility that's really impressive we have you know all of the 60,000 meters that we've drilled there we have the 4,800 meters that were drilled on the property prior to us acquiring it uh, that's all there as well so we started there we looked at uh, drill core from a number of the different breccia pipes the 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 zoning we see in the pipes uh, you know some of our pipes are more precious metal rich like you mentioned uh, the silver and the gold in, in Breccia 7, uh, lower copper, but we're still, you know, the top 200 meters of that pipe. We expect that as we go deeper, we'll get more copper silver rich like we've seen in some of the other Breccia pipes. But then we proceeded from from the core facility. We went to the project, did a site visit, visited multiple Breccia pipes, uh, stood on them, did some additional sampling as part of the QP uh, process for the the 431101 uh, resource estimate, and uh, and then dropped those samples off, did a lab uh, tour to see how things are going in the lab, and uh, we, we pretty much covered everything in a short amount of time, but it was a really excellent visit. Great work. How is that resource estimate coming along? I know everyone's excited. It should be noted that it will be an initial, a maiden resource estimate that will be but a peak, right, at, 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 what, at the potential there. We know about the triple-digit amount of targets. We know this will only include a limit, limited amount of the pipes, but how is that coming along so far? It's coming along really well. We just had a team meeting on that. I had everybody that's participating in the in the process of getting there, uh, you know, just give us an update. Everybody's excited about where we're at. Uh, the assays from the labs uh, continue to come in. You, you know, that's evidence today that, you know, we put another 14 drill holes out. I think we still have another 37 drill holes to put out on Breccia 5 and Juan Karama. So, um, you know, we're going to keep cranking out the news. Uh, the work is is happening. You know, the nice thing about having multiple Breccia pipes is you, when you get all the assays back from one Breccia pipe, then you can start 
crunching those numbers and doing the hard work. And, uh, and so that's ongoing now. Everybody's uh, committed to meeting our deadline, you know, our deadlines by the end of the year. And I think we're going to, I think we're going to hit that. It's just dependent on the lab cranking out the results and they've done a good job. They're, they're delayed, but they're consistent and we planned around that. So um, yeah, we're all very excited to see what we come up with. Assays are still pending. Looking forward to those numbers. Before I let you go, I have to ask, how was your experience in Peru? It's funny because we had a lot of um, hype during the elections, right? And initially, yep. it was very negative hype. That seems to have subsided, although it's 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 kind of curious to me that you don't hear the same people that were hyperbolic, in a sense, about how negative the election was. You don't see them highlighting the fact that it hasn't quite played out that way, at least as it relates to the explorers in Peru um, and, 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 and the field work that you need to get done. Because from what I understand, the several companies that I've spoken with recently, explorers, I should add, um, they've had no trouble getting to site. They have, haven't had any trouble getting drill rigs. They haven't had trouble, you know, outside of minor delays with the labs. And so has that been your experience, Dave? Yeah, that's exactly right, Gerardo. And, you know, we talked about that. We talked mm -hmm. about the newsletter writers sensationalizing the news and, and, you know, they do that for their own purposes to get readership and that type of thing. But, you know, I've felt all along that there a lot of this is overblown hype. And we've already seen, you know, we've seen some very good developments recently uh, with the new prime minister coming in, a new minister of energy and mines, which I feel is much more qualified for the role. He has a technical background. Um, so I, I'm seeing really good changes. And it's it's obvious now that Castillo's, you know, he's, he knows that he's got to work with uh, the Congress in order to accomplish things. And, you know, Congress is saying we don't need to change the Constitution to achieve what you want to achieve. The mining companies have met with Castillo. You know, the big major mining companies have met with them and, and conveyed their you know, their belief that uh, Peru is a good place to operate and it's still it there always needs to be an economic incentive to be there and that if they change anything, it has to be within re reason. So I know he's he's received that that message and I don't expect there to be any any kind of radical changes that's going to adversely affect the mining industry it would just be at the uh, you know, it would be too uh, contradictory to the interests of Peru for that to happen. And I think everybody uh, you know, all political parties in Peru want, um, you know, the best for Peru. And it's just a question of how do you how do you get there? But we're excited about where Peru is, is as a country right now. And we know that mining is going to be a part of its future. And, and we plan to be part of that future as well. You have a lot of copper. You have a lot of gold. You have a lot of targets. I'm looking forward to the initial resource estimate to just start ballparking um, what what potentially could be there as we extrapolate out, right, with the many pipes that, that exist. And uh, looking forward to more assays, Dave. Thank you so much for that update. You bet, Gerardo. Thank you. Chat soon.